Infinito DMT not only works with multi-channel retuning, but it also works with one of the latest developments in microtuning technology, and that's called MTS ESP, and that was developed by some of our microtuning brothers at Odd Sound. And this is a really great new tuning technology because with one master plugin, you can retune multiple synths all at once. So I'll show you the setup for that. Um, on the left side here, I have our master plugin, which is just loaded in the MIDI effect channel. In other DAWs, you'll want to load it in the synth slot if it's not a DAW that accepts MIDI effects. And currently, it is inactive. And you can see that here because uh, the use MTS ESP is not selected. So here we have two separate synths. One is Surge, which is a great free synth that's out there. And here's what it sounds like without MTS ESP, just standard chromatic scale. And another one is Serum. And also it's just the standard chromatic scale. Now all we have to do to retune those both instantaneously is reopen up uh, Infinitone DMT here and go into the settings and select use MTS ESP and we just select a scale here and it'll automatically send that tuning to both of these synths. So I'll just play Surge here and Serum And now we can just change the tuning right here, and it changes automatically both of the synths. And it does that in Surge, too. Uh, so that's really handy if you want to retune a bunch of synths all at once. Uh, now the challenge with that is there's a couple of things that it's not compatible with. It's not compatible with the uh, beating effect here in uh, Infinitone, it's not compatible with detuning, and it's also not compatible with the keyboard mapping. So if you want to have all of your notes on the white keys, uh, it doesn't work with that. But hopefully in the future there will be updates, so these other things will also be compatible. On top of that, you can only have one tuning at a time with NTS ESP. So that's a bit of a setback, because if you want to have multiple tunings going on in a arrangement, then you can't do that. Um, which is something that I like to do a lot. You can have a chord going on in one, one track and a scale going on in the other. Uh, we hope in the future there will also be an update where you can have multiple tunings at one time. But for now, there are some limitations. And what's really great about this also is that there are several DAWs out there which are not compatible with multi-channel MIDI effects, such as Pro Tools and Digital Performer and um, Ableton Live currently at the moment. Hopefully that will change. And those DAWs do work with MTS ESP. So it's a really great way to at least get something going in some of those DAWs. Uh, for a list of synths that are compatible with MTS ESP, then just go to our website and there's a list of them there on the support page. <laughs>